Hey everyone, so I thought I'd update you guys. My vlog um, post-op day two I suppose, so I had surgery yesterday and most of you have seen my video that I put up yesterday um, and I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. You guys are amazing, like so supportive and you guys really, you know since I've been here almost alone, like Ainsley's in a different room, like reading those comments whenever I woke up in the middle of the night just made me feel so much better and I really do appreciate it so, so, so much. Thank you so much. Um, so I thought I'd update you on what's happening today. Um, I did have a little bit of a fever about an hour ago. I feel better now. I just had really hot flashes. So they gave me some pills immediately and I think that must have worked. And they changed my drip so I have some more water. Um, Ainsley did have a couple of fevers during the night but she's okay now. She's been spewing a bit. I think it's because of the medication. Um, I haven't spewed or anything. Um, I did feel a little bit nauseous a couple times, just like dizzy and stuff. I think it's just all the meds. Um, as far as pain goes, it's not really painful. It just feels like someone's pushing on my boobs. And like it sometimes hurts a little bit just to breathe in and out because like there's so much pressure. But the painkillers are really good and it's nothing super bad. I had a fantastic sleep. I did wake up a few times, probably just because of um, jet lag and everything. But... I had a fantastic sleep like it wasn't uncomfortable the nurses did help me go to the toilet and have a shower um, really awkward but I mean that's they do that every day so they're used to it It was awkward for me but um, I'm glad they did help me do that because I feel a lot better now that I've been you know washed and everything because I was quite sweaty um, probably from during surgery and everything um, I have my drip in drip lines up I don't know if you can see up there somewhere um, in my hand, um, close your eyes if you're a bit wheezy to this stuff, but it's in my hand and I have two, um, like, blood bag things on either side of me, I'm just collecting, like, the waste out of my body, and I think the doctor's coming in in about half an hour or an hour just to check on me, and make sure everything's okay, and if everything's okay now I'm allowed to go home this afternoon, we can just go relax at the hotel together, me and Ainsley, um, the lady from Somnio came in again, um, her name's Tammy I think, and she's really lovely and she's going to see me again in a few days when the doctor tells us to come back for the consult. The boobies still look really, really, really big but they're just swollen. Um, I can kind of show you a little bit. They are looking really, really good though, like, I'm not sure if you can see, it's kind of hard for me to show you but I really like them so far. And the hospital is just impeccable. It's like the same, if not better, than any hospital I've been in in New Zealand. Really clean and the staff are amazing, lovely. Um, I've got my little button so I can call them whenever I need them. And they're just really, really helpful. And I just had lunch. I had spaghetti and soup. Um, I only had a little bit just so I can take my painkillers. Um, I haven't taken them yet because I wanted to show you. I just got like four little ones in here. Oh, three little ones in here. I'll take in a second. Um, and you get them, I'm pretty sure, every meal. So last night I could only eat a bun all day. I couldn't eat before surgery. So I had a bun um, last night so I could take my meds so I could sleep well. Um, it was really hard to eat. And then this morning for breakfast I just had a piece of toast and an egg. It's all I could get down. They did give me a lot of food, but I just couldn't make myself eat it. I just didn't feel very well. Um, as you can probably tell, I feel a lot better. People were asking me why I was crying yesterday, and I just think it was like all the drugs and the sleeping gas and everything just taking a toll. I was talking to my auntie, and she said one time when she had surgery, she did get really emotional after the sleeping gas and everything, so it's probably that. But I am beyond happy and no regrets and I just know that it was the right decision for myself so yeah I'm really thankful for all your support and I'm just really happy like <laughs> I'm so happy and I can't wait to see them um, obviously I'm still bandaged up so I haven't been able to see them properly but so far they look pretty good I won't know of course until I see myself naked pretty much but it should be okay so um, I'll update you again tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be discharged this afternoon as I said, otherwise they'll keep me in one more night. Um, but you'll find out tomorrow what happens and I'll let you know tomorrow um, if it hurts to get the IV and the drains pulled out and everything because I've got them in like my hips or whatever. They're like connected to my ribs, the ones that are draining all the excess blood out. 
um, I was talking to Steph City, I think her username City and Makeup, and she just wanted to know like how much it hurts. So I'm gonna say the, say that tomorrow. I'm a little bit shatterbrained because I've had so many medication, drugs, things, and everything. So sorry about that. Um, yeah. So that's it for today. I'll update you again tomorrow. As I say, the pain's really not that bad. It's nothing like I thought it would be. To be honest, it's nowhere near as bad. So I'm really stoked. It's just pressure, like it feels like someone's pushing on me and it's like aching, like the muscles are aching but it doesn't actually feel like painful. Um, yeah, that's all I've really got to say. So if you've got any questions leave them down below and I'll answer for you. And stay tuned for more follow me's and everything as well. I'll be updating you every day this week and then I might do one like every few days. Um, updating you on how they look and how I'm getting on and how I'm sleeping, just everything. So. I hope that's okay with you guys and yeah thank you one more time I love you guys so much and I couldn't do this without you like honestly you guys have just helped me push through and stay positive so thank you so much and I'll talk to you tomorrow bye